time. Yeah, it's just really long time, but uh, this is not your first time on this mm, particular. Okay, I've been here before. So uh -huh. Ah, thank yeah. you for coming back again. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about uh, managing stresses, but before that, mm -hmm. first uh, remind us who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Zipora Wanyeki. I'm a teacher, I'm a trainer, mm. I'm a counselor. We, we, we do training at Baton of Hope Kenya. It's an organization where we are counseling uh, the less fortunate, the COVID victims, mm -hmm. and all those people in the society. So don't say that counselors are too far. We are within the neighborhood. Eh? Mm -hmm. And um, I also do one-on-one -on -one counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, I train groups of people. I think my week has been stuffed with a lot of trainings. Eh? Uh -huh. And uh, uh, if you want to get more of my content, you can visit me on my Facebook at Zipi Wanyeki. Mm -hmm. You can use my Twitter at uh, Wanyeki One Zipora. You can get my f uh, YouTube channels, uh, subscribe, and get uh, the previous shows. Mm -hmm. They're going to be of help. So, my YouTube channel is Zipora Wanyeki. All right. Uh, so, now let's get into this mm -hmm. uh, managing stresses. Mm -hmm. Let's start with what is stress. We might assume people know what stress is. So, tell us what stress uh, sure, is. Sure, sure. And I will also tell you maybe how to know that you're stressed, Stephanie. Yeah. yeah. Now, stress mm -hmm. uh, is what we call uh, an extreme difficulty, straining. Mm -hmm. You're straining, you feel you are experiencing extreme difficulty in your life mm -hmm. because of many things that maybe we are going to come and discuss. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to tell you, Stephanie, that most people don't know that they are stressed. Mm -hmm. And that is why most people think that they are not supposed to go to hospital. I think I'm stressed, but they are not sure. And so they don't work on it. They go and take a Panadol or something like that just to cool their system down. Mm -hmm. But they haven't dealt with what was uh, bringing all this so that you could have that headache because we call them psychosomatic illnesses mm -hmm. illnesses that do not have a specific cause uh -huh. but they are there because there's something your brain is juggling with but you haven't addressed the main reason and that is why you hear that people are just there before you know it you are dealing with a more serious case we call depression so you must manage stress so that you don't, don't go to depression. Lead to depression. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some of the causes of stress mm -hmm. that we know of? Mm -hmm. There are many, there are numerous. This uh -huh. is Kenya. We are in political, uh, <laughs> in political season, season mm -hmm. where everything, the cost of living is high and everything is high. But there are things that we look at and we can tell Kenyans, mm -hmm. this is what is causing stress. And before I tell you the causes of stress, I want to tell you that according to the World Health Organization, mm -hmm. stress depression, mental illness case, they are number three killer in the world. In the world. If, if, you, if you notice the number one cases of suicide between 15 year old and 29 year old, they are on the rise. Mm -hmm. And so you could be asking yourself, ah, watu nishidagani wa meona kwa maisha? But you realize that there are many reasons because even a newborn baby, Stephanie, mm -hmm. they have stress. Wow. Are you aware? How, how do they have stress and they're just born crying and they have everything? Oh my goodness, <laughs> those kids, those infants, they do have stress. And that is where you see mm -hmm. their source of stress is not similar to yours. Okay. These children, they're looking at their mother and they can't see their mother. They're used to the voice of their mother and their face. So another uh, face comes in. These kids look at you and cries. Ah. It, it, it is only communicating. The baby is telling you, I can't recognize your I face. Don't know so, you. Yeah, I don't know you. So uh -huh. they are stressed and that's why they cry a lot and you know, they, 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 they have a way of showing that they are stressed. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are not even feeding well. So stress is not only for children. It is for everyone. And actually, the, 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 the youngest person to commit suicide was a nine-year-old. Are you aware? Yeah. Nine-year-old child committed oh suicide. Goodness. And so you are left wondering, what has this child seen in life mm -hmm. so that they could so that tells you that every level of your life you're dealing with stress so what mm -hmm. causes that we come back to that there are many reasons mm -hmm. you could be stressed because of maybe loss mm -hmm. loss of life loss of property loss of status you can name it mm -hmm. and because today we are addressing uh, the youth it is good that they know even when somebody is dating another person name kataliwa Mm -hmm. That is enough cause of stress. That is enough. <laughs> that is enough. Uh, that, uh, that this was my crush, and now mystery, and this person can't respond back. Uh -huh. You have spent the whole night, you know, trying to rehearse how you're going to tell this girl. And when you come with flowers, this girl slaps dismisses you on your you. face. You uh -huh. dismisses you. You've had people being killed. You've heard of love triangles, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. You are a boyfriend stabbed the girlfriend to and death or something. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that is loss. They are dealing with loss. Uh, it can be loss of life. 
somebody has lost a loved one, a parent, you've lost maybe a, a, a close relative, and mm -hmm. uh, you know we are dealing with a pandemic, the, 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 the COVID-19. So mm -hmm. people are not mourning. For that reason, somebody died today, tomorrow they are buried. So they didn't get enough time to mourn their, their, their beloved people. Mm -hmm. That is enough cause of stress. Okay. And if stress is not managed, when somebody is mourning, it can result to something else. Nasty. Mm -hmm. So you must come to a closure before maybe you can move on. But what happens to us when we see you crying? Don't be a umelia sana. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, it's enough. Let enough. mommy rest. Mm -hmm. Rest. You should help this person overcome that grief. So loss is one. Mm -hmm. Another cause of stress that we can deal with is probably illnesses that we are, um, people are having. Mm -hmm. Illnesses, let's talk about threatening, life-threatening illnesses. Uh, chronic illnesses like cancer. You've gone to a hospital, you're just having a, a headache, you didn't know much. Kufika pale, they diagnose you with cancer. That is enough cause of stress. Mm -hmm. And I'm told there are more people die, not because of the illness, but, but of the mention of that illness. Of that illness that if you didn't know that you're having it, you could have lived longer. Mm -hmm. But you've just gone there, this is a young girl who has never actually played with any person and the first person uh, she gets hooked up to she gets contacts HIV. hiv what becomes of that girl stress oh, no. if it is not well managed you hear we've buried her, we've buried her. so other than uh, illnesses we can talk about because we are talking more of the youth uh, i will not tell them marriage because they have not reached there but they uh, my, must prepare them that marriage is one cause of stress stress you've had people killing one another all over isn't it yeah even some very famous people the other day we had a very uh, famous person in nigeria a musician who yeah. died out out of domestic violence because so if the marriage is not working we do not come and start telling you vumilia nini nini no we tell you you better observe from a distance so marriage can be another cause of stress if there is no good relationship with it that marriage mm -hmm. so it is good that you monitor is this relationship toxic or not that will be a show for another day mm -hmm. other than marriage uh, another cause of stress can be peer pressure for our youth peer pressure is whereby i see stephanie with a nice shoe mm -hmm. and i equally want one but i cannot afford one yeah. Stephanie has a boyfriend who bought for her a very expensive watch. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't have and my parents cannot afford. Peer pressure mm -hmm. can cause stress in our youths and, and it, I think it is very common today. Yeah. Because people want to manage a certain lifestyle. See what we are Yeah, mm -hmm. they have just finished form four. They are going to join university. A yeah. very humble girl comes from the village, who just well groomed and everything. You go to the university and you find that what people are wearing is not necessarily what you people are wearing in the village. Yeah. And so you want to upgrade your standard. So what do you do? You look for what people call a mubaba, so that who can sponsor your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so you are in stress after another. Stress after another. Yes, because of peer pressure. Mm -hmm. People want to, you want to belong to a certain group, which is okay. But at least it is good you know, even if you want to belong to this group, are you yet there? Because don't use a lifestyle. If you're not yet there, you can't you manage move, it. Move your pace. <laughs> that is yeah. it. Eh? We do not want to hear, mm. Stephanie, that somebody bought you a vehicle and then it has road. It's not, <laughs> it's not very good. You'll be stressed the whole day. Exactly. Yeah, other than uh, peer pressure, we can talk about career. Mm -hmm. We are talking about uh, career week and we are talking about uh, a career show. So uh, you have realized that um, today, unlike our days, mm -hmm. there are more diverse careers that have come up. And yeah. you realize that people are now more exposed. Uh, when we were growing up, I didn't know that there was something like a DJ that you can go and pursue that. We, we mm -hmm. didn't know much of these careers that are here today. And so we knew careers are thus these things, a doctor, a teacher, a what. We didn't know much. Now you've gotten your grade. You have an A minus. You have an A, a B plus or whatever. And your parent insists, DJ I want you to go and study medicine. I want you to go and pursue law. And so you are forced to do the career that is not out of your passion. And maybe let's talk to parents and tell them mm -hmm. that uh, uh, today, talent yeah. pays. Talent so, pays. Yeah, it does. So don't just squeeze your child to the mentality that you had back then. Mm -hmm. Let this child go and explore their passion. It is yeah. out of their passion that they are going to make a living. Mm -hmm. So career can be a thing. Your parent wants you to do medicine and you're passionate about Something art, else. design, mm -hmm. and all those things. So you pursue what you like. So that can be another issue that can cause stress. Eh? Mm -hmm. Pregnancy, 
It definitely is. A as serious, especially if when you're a youth and you're not married. Imagine. Uh -huh. And you know, when somebody is pregnant, uh, it's, 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 it's a period where your body is reacting to anything and everything. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hormonal changes in your body. Yeah. And so you realize that this person has gotten pregnant, does not even know exactly the father. And even if he, she knows the father, and then don't mention that. Do I even know you? Uh -huh. you are on, on top of your hormones, you're dealing with something else altogether. You'll be very stressed. Mm -hmm. So uh, pregnancy can be a cause of Another stress. Cause. And by the way, even um, when we are teaching our people about depression, uh, there's what you call postpartum depression. As a result of pregnancy, somebody got a child, now feels like you're not ready to bring up your child and whatnot. You adequate. reject that child. You are crying. This mother is thinking of doing harm into this child. If postpartum depression goes past two weeks, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be checked medically. Okay. Yeah, it is. It, we it's should not assume. It's a cause of alarm. It's a cause of alarm. This mm -hmm. person will either harm herself or harm the baby. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, we should be able to monitor. And so if you're young and married and you're there, uh, it's good if the lady has gotten a baby. Walk that journey together. Mm -hmm. So that at least you monitor any behavior that does not look like the normal behavior. She shouldn't be left alone. Yeah, 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 yeah don't. She shouldn't feel overwhelmed. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's enough stress to bring up like a child who is crying and yeah, who is thinking that 2 a.m. is the waking up, up time. <laughs> Uh, when you're sleeping, and it's your first the baby child. Is, yeah, it's your, uh, there's enough stress. Eh? Yeah, it's yeah. like a good feeling. It's a good feeling, but at least you need enough support, enough mm -hmm. help. Okay. Yes. And uh, let me ask. Mm -hmm. I, I'm hearing this. Uh, there's a lot of extern external causes. Mm -hmm. Are there also internal something like fear? Oh yeah. Uh, something like expectations. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Talk to us about. This. Let me tell you this. Now parents have gotten the result for their children. And I think in Kenya today, from experience, mm -hmm. either in teaching or even outside there as a parent, mm -hmm. I am a mother of two. I think parents are the ones doing exams, <laughs> not these children. <laughs> I think parents celebrated more of more this than the success. Children. True. More than the children. Mm -hmm. Because they were like, you know, if she doesn't make it to university, this and this. So you are there innocently, you are in school, you've done your best, and you've, you've put the best foot forward. You've worked very hard, but you didn't make it to Cyprus. Mm -hmm. You hammer a D, a yeah. D plus, a C minus. Sure. So you're not going to the university. So your parents, your whole clan, everybody who sent you a success card, anybody who prayed yeah. for you on the altar, they expected a good grade. But you haven't met the expectations. Mm -hmm. That is enough stress. That is enough stress. And you know, the thought of coming out and people asking you, yeah. what did Uli you get? Nini. What did you I get? Know they can and answer. expect a response. <laughs> <laughs> Uli nini. Even someone who didn't send you a success card Kenyans, wants to know. We are good with that. <laughs> we know? are good with that. Uh, and you weren't there when the child was learning or anything. Exactly. Or anything. You don't know but what they went through. You're part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, probably they are looking for that. Like a story to say, I don't know what to She failed. Uh, yeah, so, exactly. So uh, people must be there. But at least, that is a cause of stress. But let us learn to own our results. Mm -hmm. Not everybody was meant to go and, uh, and, and ca pursue careers at the university. Yeah. Not everybody was channeled towards academics. There are people who are channeled towards um, our skills, the use of skills. Mm -hmm. Think of somebody who does your hair. Yeah. Think of somebody, they may not necessarily require a university degree to mm -hmm. do your hair. But they are working, they, they are working with their hands. Mm -hmm. Think of, there are so many other careers. So it is good that parents um, do not just look at one area that says I'm a Miss University Nivo. No, so there are so many stops, other things yeah. that you can do. Mm -hmm. you, uh, take this child to a tertiary institution, to a college, to a polytechnic, let them get skills. And those skills they are going to earn from them. Exactly. Yeah. So you've asked whether there are some inner uh, issues Internal. here that mm -hmm. cause stress. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. You realize that children or maybe teenagers or any other person has got some personal issues you keep to yourself. What you call secret. Uh, there's somebody we call Johari. Johari came up with a, 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 an explanation uh -huh. of self-awareness. And was saying that there is an area of open self. People know you. Mm -hmm. You know yourself. There's an area of hidden self. People don't know you, but there's some secret you know about yourself. You know. There's an area of blind self. You don't know and people don't know. It is only God who knows. Huh? It's only God who knows. It is only God who knows. Eh? So is that so? Is that this, a good? Mm -hmm. is, that, is that like a potential? You have something inside I, you that I you believe can, there are mm -hmm. some qualities in you. There are some potentials in you that you don't know that you possess them. People don't know that you possess them. Only, only God, God knows, knows that you possess them. All right. And most of the time they come out in the times of tragedy. Okay. Kunashida. 
that is when you realize you can jump all ah. the way up to there. You get it? Eh? <laughs> That's a potential we have never thought that you can be such a high jumper. Mm. You get it? Eh? So in this area of uh, hidden self, these are the things you keep to yourself. You don't want to discuss with people. Mm -hmm. yeah, so some of the nasty experiences people have kept to themselves, they keep on eating them up from inside. But they are not able to share them with people. Think of somebody who was a rape victim. Or mm. even sodomized, for that matter, it can be vice versa. Think of somebody who ever aborted. Think mm. of somebody who is struggling with masturbation, mm -hmm. pornography. These people, they have that thing, and it is killed them from. It is killing them from inside. Uh, 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 we say that uh, there's one theory of counseling that says every human being is good, and wants to be good. Mm -hmm. It's only that the situation does not allow you to be good. So everybody wants to be good. Mm -hmm. Now, you find that you may want to come out of that pornography, but you're not able to deal with it. And if I try and go and tell it to my mother, she will kill me. She's yeah. a lioness. Mm -hmm. If I try and tell it to my pastor or the, anybody in the church, they They'll will judge, judge me. me. I'll mm -hmm. be excommunicated from church. If I share it with my friends, they will spread it all over. You prefer to keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Not that you have dealt with it. You have just buried it. Mm -hmm. So it is eating you from inside. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've, I've noted, even drug addicts, they don't want to be in that situation. They want to come out. It, it's, it's a, there's a voice in them crying out for help. But nobody is able to decode that. We are there judging them. Mm -hmm. They would not want to be associated with a bad behavior. Who wants to be bad? Nobody. No yeah, even while they listen to their songs, most of them are gospel. Yeah, they are singing exactly. gospel songs, even in her club, because they still want to be associated with God, because God is associated, associated with good things. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? Yeah. Yes. So this is, this is stress. So how do they manage? How, how can someone manage these mm -hmm. stresses? Uh, I, before I tell you how to manage stress, let us tell people, because most of the questions that I get is, Zipora, how do I know that I'm stressed? All right, how do yes. you know that you're stressed? Mm -hmm. And the quickest and the easiest test that you can do yourself, mm -hmm. you ask yourself, within a single day, 24 hours, what have you thought about? Because I'm mm -hmm. one person who never knew when I'm stressed until when I feel my whole stomach is full of acid, I'm having you know, headache. So within a span of 24 hours, what have you thought about? You mm -hmm. can list so many because there are so many thoughts. Mm -hmm. Then you come. In the past one hour, what have you thought about? Then you can list. Mm -hmm. In the past one hour, how many times have I thought? In a frequency of 1 to 10, how many times has that thing repeated itself? So we are going to look at the frequency mm -hmm. of the things you've thought about. If you've been thinking about career, probably that is what is stressing you. Okay. That is your cause of stress. So that mm. is how you decode the frequency of that thought within 24 hours, within an hour, and how many times has it repeated itself. So you need to know what is what exactly is stressing you. You need to address you. what is stressing you so that mm -hmm. we can treat it. You yeah. get it? Eh? So you had now asked, how do we manage our stress? Number one, share out with a before trusted we, friend. Be, before we get to that, yes, please. Uh, there, I know there are levels of stress. Mm -hmm. So how do I know... You know Okay, first mention the levels of stress that are there, the types of stress that are there mm -hmm. before we get to how okay, to Okay, thank you. For purposes of this conversation, we want to tell our viewers, not the medical perspective, but just the general perspective, that mm -hmm. there is good stress and there is bad stress. Did you know that? No. There's no, good actually. stress. <laughs> good stress uh, what is, is good this. Stress? <laughs> we call it eustress. 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 Eustress is good stress. I mean, if your life wasn't having any stress, mm -hmm. I honestly, you would be obese. <laughs> As in, hakuna kitu kina kusumbua. So the food comes in, it's back itself and everything just... and everything. And I am not saying that obese people do not have stress. Because again, stress can result to overeating. Mm -hmm. I hope you are aware of that. Eh? Yes, I know that. But what I'm trying to say is this. If you don't have something that is disturbing you in your body, at least, why did you wake up? Because you had something you were pursuing, isn't it? Yeah. No, that is good stress. So you that must is turn stress. here. You must beat the traffic to be here and to do what? That is good stress. Something that keeps you on your toes. Yes, something that keeps you on your toes. Yani, hujaka tu vinde, miangalia tu, you don't know what uh, life, life is. Life. Just, <laughs> if life is so good, you did, did you know that I even look at children? When children misbehave, you know that they are very idle. Give them something to do. They won't have time to misbehave. Uh -huh. So your body, the same. If you want your body to work well, give it some small amount of stress. 
Okay. If you don't. This is a new one. <laughs> oh, yeah. If your body must work and function well, give it something to think. So the heart will be busy beating, mm. the mind will be busy jogging. So your system is functioning and you're eating and you're using energy. That so is good stress. What can we say? What can we like uh, use as good stress? Something that will build us. Can we use that? Something that you want to achieve? Oh, so yes, yes. We'll your dreams, your aspirations, mm. what you want to, to, to achieve, uh, your plans, your goals. Now your that, vision, is good that is good stress. You tell us my vision. By the end of this year, I want to have done this. No, so that that is good. That is good stress because mm -hmm. now you'll have to, you know, wake up every other morning, put logistic in order on how to go and get that. But now there's what you call the bad stress. Mm -hmm. Now this bad stress is what is making you not live your normal life. Okay. If you are used to people talking to people and being the happy you, now you're becoming reserved. Mm. Now that is bad stress. You are using to feeding well. Now your system is not feeding well. You are sleeping well. Now you have abnormal sleeping patterns. What mm. you call hypersomnia and insomnia. Insomnia is when you don't sleep at all. And then uh, hyper is when you hyper sleep Hyper is when lot. you're sleeping like throughout. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were, ne we were not meant to sleep throughout. How do, where of do course. we get food? <laughs> Again, we were not meant to go 24 hours without sleeping. So there must be a balance. So if stress comes and terminates that balance mm -hmm. of how you're supposed to do things. And so... What now can we do so that we eliminate stress or we manage the stressors in our life? Mm -hmm. Number one, and I advocate this mostly, is share. But when we say share, we must mm -hmm. tell you whom to share with. Okay. Uh, you don't just go sharing with anyone. This is Kenya. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Not only Tra Kenya. You can't trust anyone. <laughs> you cannot trust anybody. I mean, with a secret, you say it, and mm -hmm. in the evening, it's all over media. Yeah. So you share it, but you share it with the right people. Mm -hmm. So you can have a confident. If you have a confident that you can share, you can go and be yourself, you're blessed. So what if uh, you're in a toxic environment, you're not really close to your parents, maybe mm -hmm. this is someone who's just finished mm -hmm. uh, their KCP or KCC and mm -hmm. they're really disappointed in themselves mm -hmm. or they feel they've disappointed uh, you know, their people. Mm -hmm. So they can't really go to their parents because their parents are the strict type mm -hmm. and you can't really confide in your friends because they will, you know, talk behind your back so mm -hmm. how do they do it i think in every family setup at least god has left some people that we can run to so if your parents are unapproachable mm. you can use your relative like maybe you have a trusted auntie, auntie or uncle or even a grandparent i mean they are very good in understanding eh? mm. you go and tell them me i know my mom is a lion I know okay. my father is equally one. Mm. So I cannot confide in them. Please tell them this and this. Please help them understand that I, it was not my wish not to get to uh, the grade they wanted. A you get uh -huh. it. Eh? So you can confide in a, par in, in, in a relative. Eh? Mm. If not that, we have religious leaders who act as fathers. Mm. So and mothers uh, are in the sense if it's a lady. So you can also confide in them. So mm -hmm. that at least you tell them, they have a way of now talking to the parents and telling them, hey, take it easy, nini, nini. If now that is not working, that is where we have the counselors. Mm -hmm. You are able to access a counselor, you go share out your fears without fear of being judged. A counselor will not judge you, will sit and listen to you without making judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you can always look for an escape route where you're going to talk. And can I surprise you, uh, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you go and share that stress with somebody, not that they'll give you a solution, yeah. but the fact that Bad they listened, mm -hmm. you just came and said, ah, you know the way my marriage is not working. You know what, what, what. they preempt all their stressors. Mm -hmm. And the more they are talking, the more they are expressing and relieving that stress. That so they go home feeling like, going. why do you think people go to God and they cry? Uh -huh. And you hear somebody <laughs> saying, God rent, God this, and this and this. Not that God, uh, not that there is answers you've gotten by the time you are leaving that church. Mm -hmm. But you have a way of feeling like I've told my problems to somebody. So I've relieved I've them, so I'm I've going away. Of them. You get it? Eh? Mm -hmm. That is now what happens when you're sharing. So it is very important that you share. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, it is important that you do what you like most. Mm -hmm. A way of releasing stress. We also give this skill to people who are managing anger. So we tell you that you have an issue with anger management. What are you supposed to do? Do what you like most when you're angry. Mm -hmm. So what is this? We call them kadasis. Kadasis, these are things, these are strategies that you can use to relieve stress from your system. Okay. It can be maybe you are very good in art. 
maybe you are artistic. And so whenever you are stressed, you feel you want to release it, you just go and draw. take your pen, your brush, and your painting, whatever. You go and draw some very nice thing. What has that done to you? It has uh, temporarily removed your brain and your energy and your what from what was stressing you to what you're doing. You have channeled your energy. You've channeled your energy elsewhere. Positive. So you can be, maybe you're into music, you sing. There's no way you'll be concentrating on a melody and you're still concentrating on right, stress. Right. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's sports. Women mm. to Maybe it's football. Maybe it's what, whatever it is that you do. And it brings you down. Maybe it's dancing. Mm. You open the music and you dance yourself you dance around the, the house. <laughs> By the time you, you sweat, you are tired, you are exhausted, you don't think about that. Okay. So that's another way. Mm. There are people who manage their stress by traveling. Okay. Yeah. I'm a choker too, and I'm a gari mafuta road drive. Twende. To Kajiado, <laughs> Barabara and Amanga. You drive, and as you're driving, you're seeing sceneries and whatnot. So it's a way of relieving stress, okay. by the way, because you've just walked away from mm. the stressors. Mm. And that is where you find in a marriage setup, in a home environment, if the man realizes that this home is toxic, this we'll wife is making a lot of noise, they'll go to the club and come at back at 2 a.m. Yeah. So they were running away from the stress, the stressors <laughs> in the house. You okay. get it, eh? Yeah. So other than that, uh, we advocate for exercise. Mm -hmm. Exercise is a good way. When you are exercising, there are some hormones that the, your body gives out. You're sweating out your what? You, you will not concentrate on two things at the same time. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we tell people about diet. Your diet, what you eat, eh? Mm -hmm. So mind your diet. It's good that you take something that has enough magnesium, enough vitamins for relaxation, for a happy hormone. Mm -hmm. Something like um, like pineapples okay. and bananas. Ah. They are known to trigger good hormone within you. Okay. Yeah, so you can take that. You, t you take that often. Mind your diet. Don't take something that will make your system too tired to digest because you're adding stress to another stress. system that has enough stress within itself. Mm -hmm. So mind your diet. It helps. But I keep on reminding um, our viewers that diet is not necessarily the food. Mm -hmm. Even what you watch, and what you listen is part of your diet. Okay. So if you realize that you're stressed, why watch a horror movie? <laughs> it will add to your stress. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're adding stress to a system that is stressed. Mm. So watch something nice that can help you uh, relieve that stress. Like eh? a comedy. Yes, like a, com a comedy. Whatever it is that you, li you listen or you do. Nowadays, uh, teens, they have everything. What do you call it? TikTok. Snapchat. You can go yeah. there to... to, to to whatever it is that you go, oh, <laughs> and you watch people, and you know, Kenyans are never fail in terms of <laughs> they're very hilarious, eh? Yeah. yeah, so other than that, other than um, what you, you, you see, what mm. you listen, okay, if you're in a toxic environment and the people you are living next to you, they are only negative people, they only speak negative things, you will be full of stress oh, full. yourself. Your mm. system has a way of absorbing from the environment, mm. so quit toxic relationship yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they say that you know when you associate even if you're not stressed mm -hmm. when you uh, sit with people or you associate with people who are always uh, giving you the problems and everything mm -hmm. it ends up stressing you oh yeah it is does. This true it does even mm -hmm. in counseling uh, after sitting and absorbing people's shock people's people crying people uh. doing what people's problem and you've absorbed enough of them within your system you cannot, and the bad thing with counseling is that you cannot go and share with the people. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, exactly. the, it was in a confidential setup. You also go for a therapy. You go for a debriefing ah, moment wow. for, to a clinical uh, a therapist, a clinician. So they will take you through so that they help you unwind. Otherwise, you will burst. You'll burst. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm. All right. And uh, most of them you have talked about... Um, I feel like it's a way of avoiding stress. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, when you're, I'm, I'm thinking of something too much, I do something that I like. Mm -hmm. But how do I, because at the end of the day, this thing will still be there. Mm -hmm. If I'm thinking of how do I get a job? Mm -hmm. In my career, I'm stagnant mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing changing. I will go, I listen to my music, but after that, mm -hmm. I come back to the same thing. The mm -hmm. situation has not changed. Mm -hmm. So how do I really manage? How do I get out of this stress? Mm -hmm. uh, I keep on saying that dawa uh, ya moto ni moto, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When we realize that your problem is fear, mm -hmm. the way to overcome that fear is to give you more fearful situation, more opportunities for you to fear until you get used to that fear. <laughs> okay, wow. If you have phobia speaking in front of people, 
Now we cannot prep for you so that you get away that from here. <laughs> we can only give you more chances and mm -hmm. opportunities to start and, and make mistakes and then you get used. Your phobia equation. Now okay. what your problem was, was job. Mm -hmm. You've danced but the still problem exists. You'll come here and weigh your options mm -hmm. and probably go to the right people who can help. We will only help you to open up your mind and realize that job doesn't have to be employed. Mm -hmm. Probably you've been working from office to office, dropping your CVs and everything, and you it is not working. Kenya today, the rate of unemployment, I think, is over 17%. It's mm -hmm. very high. So what are you supposed to do? Look for alternative two, option B. What, and what is that option B? You can be self employed The bad thing with our youth today, and um, not only them, I think it is just mm -hmm. the system that has shaped them that way and i thank god for cbc because uh, it is soon going to be shaped out eh? uh we've grown knowing that you have to be employed mm -hmm. you don't have to be employed you can self-employ yourself you've seen people and they are making money you can just decide to keep your degree down and you come and employ yourself you get it eh? mm -hmm. you can start a small business do not expect to make millions within the first year or within the second year allow your career your business to grow Mm -hmm. So the bad thing with us is that we have been used to some people who have stolen money and they become rich overnight mm -hmm. and we think that is the way to success. Okay. Honestly, that is not the way to success. Mm -hmm. You have to build a career. You have to build your brand name so that at least you can be somewhere. So if you are willing, because that is the problem. You know me, I'm in the society and I've seen people. Ukona kamujengo mahali, you want somebody to go and paint. Just painting, the normal painting that I can do. Unakuta fijana wa mekapo, you tell them, please come. I give you, I'll just pay you maybe to send me up and me at It's a small place. I'm here, partner, me, I can't work without 3,000. <laughs> you go and get Amze, does it very fast and comes back and you give him the money. The same youth are seated there. Are you trying Doing to nothing. say there is unemployment? Mm -hmm. No, they have refused to work. I make a So yeah. they think work is working in a bank, in an office, and in a what? You get it? Eh? Mm -hmm. So it is good that in as much as you are dancing and you're doing all this, explore what was the source of stress. Look for alternatives. So B. you face that particular face that challenge stress head on. And you find a solution to sure, it sure. and move on mm -hmm. from, from that. Yes. And I believe their career guidance, you'll be guided all through uh, that if you want to make this money, this is what you do, this is what you don't do. Okay. Yeah. So tell us, uh, you've <coughs> told us how we can know that we are stressed mm -hmm. when we are thinking about something mm -hmm. too much. And now, what are the effects of stress? Mm -hmm. One to our, our, you know, our behavior, to mm -hmm. our, our mood, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, when you want to know you're stressed, there are things that we can look at because I told you if stress is not properly managed mm -hmm. it leads to depression yeah a state of hopelessness because you've been strong for too long mm. so this stress how do you know that you're stressed if you are to look at a child for example <coughs> and you want to <coughs> identify that this child is stressed number one they are very moody Mm -hmm. mood swings that you normally used to be very happy nini, nini, all of a sudden a very small thing makes you blow up Okay. You get it, huh? Eh? Mm -hmm. A very small thing. Maybe we, we and, and Kenyans, we are an angry nation as we talk. <laughs> people, people's level of stress is up there now. Mm -hmm. If it was at 45, now it has gone to 50 or 55. Because, because the, the cost of living times. is high and everything. Mm -hmm. So this seems not to be working. Life is becoming tougher, tighter every single day. So stressors are becoming more. So you realize that these people, their mm -hmm. mood changes very fast. They have some serious mood swing. Yeah. Unamkosea kidogo, they blow up. Mm-hmm. Um, another reason, another thing to look at, these people, they are withdrawn. Mm -hmm. A stressed person is withdrawn. Even mm -hmm. lack of concentration from what they normally do in normal day living. Mm -hmm. This is the person you find a miyamuka na ataki kuenda job. Ameenda job, ameweka laptop pale, ameweka nini, and that is it. Me, I know of somebody who goes to their work, anafunguanisha laptop, atini kutengeneza, jioni inafika, lunchtime inafika, anaifunguanisha, anaenda. Nini, anaifunguanisha, the day is gone. Hasn't done a thing. Ah. So when you are not concentrating in your work, you're stressed. you're stressed. That is one 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 way of knowing. Eh? Another thing that maybe you can look at um, in this person, we, we've talked about irritability. Highly irritable. You blow, you blow out of proportion. You think people hate you. You think what? You think what? Mind your eating pattern. Mm -hmm. Stress people. It's either they overeat or they under eat. They under eat. <laughs> and uh, under eating, let's talk to the youth because they are there. There's something we call bulimia. There's something we call anorex nervosa. Mm -hmm. This binge eating. Kuna mtu, akona abnormal behavior of eating. You eat and eat and eat. You induce vomiting. You continue eating and eating and eating. Wow. It's a disorder. Wow. 
Wow. You eat, you vomit, and then you still yes. continue eating. It's a disorder. Again, I don't know who told people that being figure one is very nice. So there are people who are fighting to the nail to get a figure one. So what do they do? They avoid food. Completely. You find somebody has only taken a quarter slice of bread and some to view vegetables the whole day, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. So this person becomes malnourished. And if they realize that they are eating, they go and induce vomiting. So that at least they want to remain that figure one. Figure one day you will faint in public. Yeah. You don't have energy and your body requires energy to, to, to walk, to breathe, to do water. Mm -hmm. So um, your patterns of eating can tell us whether you're stressed or not. Pattern of sleeping. Your sleeping pattern. I told you you can never be sleeping too much or not getting I'm sleep sleeping. at all. Mm -hmm. Now it has a way of uh, uh, impacting in your productiveness when you go to work. Mm -hmm. You didn't sleep well or you slept uh, you, you slept too much. You okay. don't become productive. That's mm -hmm. another way of knowing somebody is stressed. Really so the other things I, I had mentioned, what you call psychosomatic illness. Now this is illness that the real cause is not known. Mm -hmm. We try to treat, I'm sure you must have heard people saying that when my child is doing exam, have you ever asked yourself oh, why yes. they are sick? Mm -hmm. This is exam phobia. The body has to come up with something that will give an excuse not to do that exam. All right. It comes in the form of headache, it comes in the form of diarrhea, it comes in the form of stomach upset and every other thing. So this child is sick and genuinely the child is sick. But when you take them to the doctor, the doctor runs all the tests and cannot find anything Can't in find the anything. system. And so what do they do? They refer you to a counselor. a counselor And when they talk, you realize that there is a hidden fear, what you call anxiety. Mm -hmm. We say that anxiety is what makes you stop living your normal life. Yeah, I actually wanted to ask if prolonged stress can lead to anxiety. Mm, not necessarily. Prolonged stress leads to depression. Mm -hmm. But a stressed person is anxious. Mm -hmm. You are anxious because anxiety is when you don't know what will happen next. Okay. And so when you're anxious, we can classify you into several uh, categories because we have what you call anxiety disorders. There are people who fear, but the fear is unknown. Fear of unknown. You feel like this house will blow up. But no, you've not heard of Al-Shababs. You've not heard of anything. There's nothing threatening. But within you, you have a lot of fear. So it makes you feel like this house is full of magenies. You've never seen a genie yourself. Personally, I've also never seen one. But you feel like there is one in the house. You start hearing your voice, voices speaking. People calling yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I've dealt with people who tell you that they were, they were hearing voices telling them to kill themselves, the suicidal oh. people, yeah? yeah? So when you deal with this child, you mm. realize there's a lot of anxiety piled up inside. Probably maybe the marriage of their parent is not working. They've seen parents fight because if you grew up mm. in a, a, a dysfunctional home, it's one cause of stress. Yeah. Your parents were fighting throughout. Who would want to see their mother being battled or even their father for that matter? Mm -hmm. And so when you hear your mother screaming, will you still continue sleeping? Of yeah. course not. That's enough stress. Yeah. And um, uh, we are saying that um, anxiety now uh, can prolong and the, it becomes something else. You now get a disorder. A disorder can either be uh, helped through the use of a counselor, but if it is extreme, because we, we, we look at some qualities, how many of them do you possess, so that mm -hmm. we know whether to put you on medicine or actually to refer you to a clinical psychologist. Because now the normal uh, 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 counselor will now not put you into drugs. They, you have to be done some tests so that they okay. can know this requires some clinical psychologist to come and do psychological assessment and tell you whether you'll go for drugs or not. All right. mm -hmm. Huh. So now, um, how do you, okay, uh, something else mm -hmm. uh, on stress. They say that a certain personalities mm -hmm. are, are more prone to mm -hmm. stress. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other time we did a show on personality disorder uh, uh, development. Eh? Yeah. Yes, they are. Uh, there are four main personalities that we discussed. We talked of the choleric, very energetic people, hardworking, extreme hardworking, mm -hmm. melancholic, very organized, very orderly, extreme neat freaks. We talked Ra of the sanguines like who are mm -hmm. very happy, outgoing, and we talked of phlegmatic. Mm -hmm. people who don't talk much yeah. now i want you to picture this this is a sanguine a mm -hmm. sanguine are people who do everything for a show off whatever mm -hmm. they are doing they buy they a gadget it's for a show off mm -hmm. they, 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 they they want to drive the most expensive machine so that people can recognize them in the society but they don't have that money mm -hmm. what do they do they do 
they will either go and borrow. And so they'll be stressed. Their type of life will be stressed and characterized by stress because they want to please the society, but they don't have the capability of pleasing them. Mm -hmm. You want a phone worth 100,000, but mm -hmm. you can only afford one worth 10,000. What do you do? You go and borrow 90. You do not even have the ability to repay back that money well. So you'll be stressed. So if you are a sanguine and you are an overspender, mm -hmm. I mean, we know you are an overspender. If the type of life you're living, uh, you are not, it is beyond your means. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to struggle financing your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't struggle financing your lifestyle. Kama wewe ni mutu wakuenda salon and normally you do your hair. It should come naturally that you do your hair. But if you're struggling to do your hair, then you're doing a hair that is not of your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is way above what but you're no. supposed to do. So these people, they will be stressed because they want to live life that is higher than the, what they are earning. So the sanguines are the sanguines more prone okay, to stress. Okay, any person will be stressed. <laughs> I told you what happens between when this personality marries this personality. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to imagine of somebody who is very quiet and reserved married to a sanguine. <laughs> I way. want you to imagine of a choleric, not a choleric, but a melancholic, who is very orderly, married to a sanguine who is very disorderly. I, be. I want my socks put here. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 You sure. be you you feel intimidated. Mm -hmm. They want the bed made, white sheets, whatnot, and you you you, you didn't manage that. You mm -hmm. feel intimidated. You'll be stressed because of that. So okay. even in a marriage, when people are looking for wives and husbands, it's good you know the personality. You get married, and you ask yourself, Am I ready to <laughs> settle down with this kind of personality? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what do you, what does it mean uh -huh. uh, when someone suddenly starts crying mm -hmm. from nowhere? From nowhere. Does that show that you're really stressed? Maybe you've been uh, piling a lot of things inside you. And this is an adult because children will cry. Yeah, this for is an children, adult. For children, that is their language of communication. Mm -hmm. But for an adult, we do not expect you to be a crybaby. The only people we allow to cry is in the soap operas. <laughs> At Yalhandra, <laughs> and you're busy crying. Nini, nini. Yeah. But now in the real life situation, mm -hmm. life has hardened you. So if you're crying and it is not during burial, you've not received bad news, you're not what, it could be a sign of depression. Mm -hmm. Not even necessarily stress. Okay, stress can make you cry, but when you're stressed, you're still juggling with that problem. Okay. Depression is where it has overwhelmed you. So people who are clinically depressed, they break down with no proper order, no specific reason. So we would really need to deal with this person you know. Why? Because we, we say that number one mm -hmm. uh, sign of depression is extreme sadness. Mm -hmm. But th we can't even explain why this person is sad. Neither mm -hmm. can the victim explain. So this person can just break down anytime for no proper reason. So mm -hmm. it, it could be a sign of depression. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, as we come to a close of this mm -hmm. conversation, mm -hmm. how do you quiet your mind? How do mm -hmm. you ensure you don't uh, get into stress mm -hmm. or things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me start by saying that uh, in this world, you'll never avoid stress. Mm -hmm. You could live a very careful life. You could be a very careful driver. Mm -hmm. But the person driving next, akuja na akugongea kio. So you are a careful driver, but garirakoli, dimegongwa. Because you will not avoid stress. Because the people who will cause stress are all over. But I can say this, you can practice how to quiet your soul, how to quiet your mind. Mm -hmm. you, you know what you are absorbing within yourself. Yeah. You know your environment, who, which people are within you, which people are next to you, mm -hmm. which group of people. For example, the, uh, you must have heard this um, term that to mend a curve. Mm -hmm. You've heard that. Eh? Yeah. We've gone for girls' night out, for boys' out. Eh? Like, uh -huh. Chunguza sana. What is this one factor that has tied these people? If you are not part of that factor, walk away, run away from that. Right. Because you could find that these people, um, they, are, they have cash, but you don't have it. 
but you're within that group. Mm. You'll feel intimidated, you'll be stressed. So to a, avoid that, avoid that group. So check time. your environment very well and try to get rid of toxic things that can make you. If it's in a, in a house that you're living and the neighbors are always fighting and whatnot, you can choose to vacate. Mm -hmm. Move and move to a next uh, a, a house that is quiet. If it's, for example, um, a, a career, you're in a career and it okay. is very negative, mm -hmm. you're not getting good feedback, honestly, in as much as you'll be there, you'll not be productive. I mean, for you to be productive, you must be happy of what you do every single day. Every, yeah. And it is unfortunate that we are told that most Kenyans are not happy with what, they are not even contented with what they do. They are mm -hmm. not happy that this is what they wake up to do. It's Monday morning, so that as if they are not happy with what they are doing. Look for a career that is excites you, your passion, follow your passion. Mm. So you can try and quiet your environment, get rid, know what you are absorbing. Personally, I, I, I watch news, but I select what to watch. Mm -hmm. You could find me on TV and um, I just select a few because you realize that today the world is so negative. You Either, either they are re re reporting somebody who was killed, somebody mm -hmm. who burnt a house, somebody who stabbed another person. Now, why should my system absorb all these killings? Yeah. Of course not. Gets so it is good to know what is happening, but at least do not sit and listen to bad news after bad news after bad news. It mm -hmm. is going to work negatively on you. And above all, it's good to do meditation. Mm -hmm. Before you sleep, uh, uh, you've had people do yoga. Mm -hmm. So you just sit and you quiet your inner soul because you be, could be quiet, you switch off the TV and every gadget. But just, from inside, there's so much noise. <laughs> 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 noise you up. It's yeah. more than a club. From inside, oh, this and this and this. So learn to quiet, do meditation. Mm -hmm. You meditate, you just keep quiet and you let your thoughts, you feel like you're in the air. Mm. That is now good meditation. It is able to get rid of all those neg and it gives you quality sleep. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You've said uh, we sh should know what exactly is stressing us. Yes. So we go through uh, uh, what we have been thinking around the day, mm -hmm. know what I've thought about so much, and that is probably what is stressing me. Sure, sure. And then I find a way, mm -hmm. uh, I find something that I love doing sure, sure. to avoid that stress. True. And then I should address that particular stress, yes. face it head on, mm. and uh, be in a good space, avoid mm. toxic environment, and mm -hmm. do meditation. Sure just to be in a peaceful place mm -hmm. and there's no way i can avoid stress in this life you will not <laughs> avoid stress not unless you you're living in heaven uh -huh. where there are angels but as long as you're here on earth you can't uh, you, you just avoid. have to find ways of managing stress. sure 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 wow thank you this has been a wonderful conversation you're welcome Zephora, do you have a you know a word that you want to pass before we close yeah maybe i can tell our kenyans our youth our viewers that uh, mm -hmm. uh all these things we are talking about we are talking about stress, depression, anxiety, all those disorders. A time reaches, even in parenting, you find that mm -hmm. you have tried all your best and it is still not working. Mm -hmm. You've done everything that you're supposed to have done within your means. It is still not working. You need help. That is when you come to us as the counselors mm -hmm. and we are able to help you be able to, 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 to come through your problem. We're able to work with you through that journey. So before you commit suicide, it normally pains me a lot when I hear somebody committed suicide because I always imagine, imagine the potential within this person. Mm -hmm. I'm a graduate too, I'm a Jewa. I'm a Maliza Shule too, I'm a Jewa. Before you can go into that extreme, and even for our youths, ukiachwa achika. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. they are not 12 like the disciples of Jesus. They are more. So, ukiacho, akubali, umeacho, and move on. You'll get a better one. So, before you think of doing anything nasty, before you think of killing yourself, before mm -hmm. you think of getting into drugs, talk to us. Reach out to someone. Get to counsel us, and we'll be able to help you. Okay. Mm. And how expensive or affordable are No, counselors? we are affordable. Because <laughs> some people, someone might say, yeah. I, I, I can't afford a counselor, mm -hmm. so there's no way I'm even considering that as an option. Mm -hmm. But can I surprise you? I, I, I have done marriage counseling mm -hmm. to some people. Okay, I do counseling because I am also into child psychology. I, I've done child uh, counseling and all uh, such stuff one on one. Eh? Mm -hmm. And you realize, you will notice if you go to a hospital setup, mm -hmm. How much do you pay for consultation only? 
just consultation nothing else consultation fee haja kupatia dawa haja kutibu mm -hmm. and there you are and maybe that illness uh, prolongs until you go to the lab they do scan they do test and everything it becomes very expensive right, to manage yeah. a disease but if only you booked a session a therapy session where you are able to talk one on one you wouldn't go the drug way uh. yeah so even in marriage setup if you can invest in your marriage you go see a counselor before things go out of hand. Mm -hmm. You will not go to the expense of even kujikuta kwa media, siji muliwana, siji munatafta wakili, siji uyu ameenda, you've separated. Divorce is expensive. Mm -hmm. Separation is expensive. And then economically you are stagnated. You are not now investing that year. So it is always easier to see a counselor than to treat the issue that you would have gone to hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sawasana, thank you. So Karibu we have sana. had it. Seek mm -hmm. for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it because you need to when you share it out, you have solved half of the problem. Sure, sure. This has been an interesting conversation with Zipora Wanyiki, who's a trainer, a counselor, and a teacher. Thank you for coming once again, Zipora. You will come. So that is brings the end to youth and uh, career, but Ram Agoko will be coming up next. So don't go anywhere. We take a short break.